Someone once called me anti-black. That was the worst. They're like, next up is anti-black. Wait a minute, I saw him backstage. I thought... Uh, uh. He didn't go to Maricosta. You guys ready? I found hip-hop shortly before Nightline exposed it to a news audience that obviously thought it wouldn't last that long. This was after Sugar Hill Gang, before Crush Groove. I grew up with a Dougie Fresh sound trying to get a Slick Rick accent out my mouth. The list branched out. We had Treacherous 3, Schooly D, Grandmaster Flash. I would blast anything left in my cousin's car on a tape recorder my auntie bought me at Christmas time. It only had play and rewind. So by the time I was nine, my vocabulary actually sounded more like Run DMC than elementary school worksheets. And as far back as I could see, I fell into hip hop the way star-crossed lovers fall victim to Cupid's arrow under a full moonlight. I just loved how the music sounded at nighttime, where break beats gave birth to breaking and shaking and popping and locking, and we would watch the breakers back of the rival crews while DJs mix ones and twos. We wore shell toe shoes. I often close my eyes hearing the sounds of break beats reverberate off of empty walls and it feels like home. It feels like hip hop. It's like the spoils of leftover civil rights aggression on a soundtrack not clean enough for black exploitation films. There was not supposed to be a future in this. But we the children who learned the breaks from Curtis Blow broke into the scene the way rock cocaine broke into our communities efficiently. This was the 80s. An entire generation after the assassination of Malcolm and Martin stole our hope. War heroes come home on dope. Vietnam veterans walk the street one injection away from becoming a zombie so you tell me what the music should sound like. An education system that corrals black children and teaches them nothing more than their poverty stricken options in life so tell me what the dancer would be like. A welfare system that hates the mothers and children they bring into this world so tell me what the art form would be like. Explain it to me. Over amplified disco samples on speakers write it colorfully and loudly on the walls you pass by every day we write odds in spray paint. If you close your eyes and say hip hop three times, click in your Cortez heels, you can feel the tornadoes turn from the turntable. Tell Toto we not in Kansas anymore. We in the Bronx and Los Angeles, Queens and DC and all the cities in between. We rock on planet rock. Pledge our allegiance to a Zulu nation. I remember the beginning of this culture, but we are still here saying, and you don't stop.